What's up guys, welcome back in. So I just finished editing this video, but I wanted to add in about a two to three minute summary here in the front of it, just because this video is a 30 minute long, like raw listing session where I'm just giving tips and everything on how to list faster, how I'm listing in like three minutes. I list 10 items in 30 minutes in this video, but I'm just going to give kind of a cliff notes here beforehand. So first off, I'm listing from my phone. So if you're wanting to list from your computer, this probably isn't gonna be the video for you. I'm doing everything from my phone. I'm literally just going in. I'm taking the pictures, everything right here. A lot of people will like to take their pictures, then take them to the computer and list there. I'm showing how to list fast on mobile. So before we touch on how to list fast, I think we should talk about the biggest keys to a listing, just so you can make sure you're honing in on the correct parts and not wasting time on others. First biggest key is your photos. That is the one thing that people are actually looking at, so it's the most important thing to make sure that you have good pictures. Next, you have your shipping, whether you're doing free or calculated. Calculated. We're not getting into that on in this video. I have plenty of videos to check that out. Next is your price, which I will show in my examples on how I'm deciding my price. It's comparing the actives in the sold market. And then lastly, you've got your title and your item specifics. And this is where you can start listing fast because instead of creating listings from scratch, you should be finding listings that are already sold selling similar on those listings, which you will see me do a bunch here in a couple minutes. And this will pull their title and their item specifics. And you will see some of them aren't the greatest, so I just have to doctor them up a little bit, but it still saves you a lot of time from having to make those completely from scratch. And this is the number one key to listing faster on eBay. But hey, don't be so hard on yourself. It takes a while to get good and fast at listing. You do wanna make sure that you are particular because you don't wanna be listing incorrectly. I've been in this game now for like 16 years, so it's a lot easier for me because I kind of know what I'm looking for and I know what I'm doing. But when you're starting out, I would take a little more time and then you're going to get faster as you do it. But hopefully these tips and these examples I'm about to show are able to help expedite your process. So now without further ado, let's get to the normal video and it's just gonna roll straight through with the intro. What is up guys? Welcome back into the Millennial Profit. My name's Adam and I'm a full-time reseller. If you're new here, I show you all different kinds of ways to make money. So if you like money, hit that subscribe button. You're probably wondering why I'm sitting in the laundry room right now. I'm going to be seeing how fast I can list all these hats. So let's grab all of these. It's just actually just gonna be 10 listings. Um, a lot of them are multiples. That's kind of how I run my hat business. I like to list multiple hats, so actually just gonna show you and then I'm gonna set them back over here on the ground so we can just kind of grab them. Um, and this video was inspired by Caleb Sells, so shout out to him. Uh, he did this with I think like 20 uh, clothing items. Um, I am just listing hats today because I like to list the same thing at the same time. That way I am simply just doing the same thing over and over. If I list the hat, then clothing, then some shoes, like kind of throws it all off. So when I list my shoes, I list all the shoes at once. When I list the hats, I list all the hats at once. So I'm just in the same setup. And I guess I still didn't answer why I'm in the laundry room. <laughs> um, I think I showed you guys a couple videos ago how we've got this little uh, setup right here and it's got really good natural lighting in this room. So that's actually what I've been using lately. Um, and I'm just sitting here on one of my tubs that I end up just putting the hats in because you'll see I custom skew a couple of them. So. Uh, Let's hop straight in. Let's get screen recording here. So I'm gonna just screen record the whole time and show you guys. Um, and then the first thing I need to do, yeah, notifications off, do not disturb. That is very important, guys, uh, if you wanna actually get stuff done. So I'm honestly not sure how long this is gonna take. Again, I think it's 10 listings. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, 10 different listings. Um, I think it takes me about three to four minutes to list a hat, but it could be faster. It could be a little slower. I've honestly never timed myself, so it'll be kind of interesting to see. This will be a nice little thing and it's going to be completely raw. All right, so let's come to search here. And this is also, it's probably going to take me a little longer because I want to try and explain to you guys my thoughts and listing everything. So uh, on these, all I'm going to type in is 76ers. 76 three years, uh, 76ers, 950, snap, well, I don't have to do snapback, 950 is the snapback, and I'm gonna see if this has a special name, it does, these are color packs. So with hats, you're not always going to find the exact um, colorway, so I just try to find something similar, um, just to get a price off of. Uh, then we're gonna sort by new. 
Uh, as we get going, I'll start listing them faster, but these first couple, I really wanna take the time to explain my thought process on how I'm coming up with prices and everything. So I'm not seeing this exact colorway out there. That's good. There's not that many listed. There's only 30 listed of color packs. There might not even be many sold just cause it's, okay, well there's one similar, uh, two similar, three similar right there, all different colors. No one has this one. So I'm going to go uh, $29.99 plus shipping um, because hats, I can be a little picky with my pricer. So I'm gonna find the one that's similar. I'm gonna hit sell one like this. And then before I take pictures or anything, so I do everything on my phone. I'm taking the pictures and everything right here, right away. Um, I'm going to come here. Oh, that's youth. Yeah, we don't want to do the youth one because then I'm going to have to edit the category and everything. Let's uh, let's come here. This one needs a little editing on the <laughs> needs a little editing on the title, but we'll give it a whirl. All right. Like, what is that? Why do you put a little dash in there? Seventy sixers, new era. I don't. I like putting the 950 right after that. Also, why did you put NFL? This might turn into a roasting of other people's listings, to be honest. Uh, I knew this one had a little work to be done. All of them won't have this. Uh, it's not navy. It is, what is that, beige? Yeah. If we have room, I'll put the color and I'll put both colors in the title. But if not, then I won't because I'll put it in the item specifics, which gets searched anyways. Uh, that should be everything. All right, now we're gonna go condition, new. Let's see how bad his item specifics are. Not too bad at all, actually. Yep, no sizes, so it's nice and easy. We're gonna let the AI cook, see what he has to say. Show off your love for the Philadelphia 76ers with this officially licensed new era, 950, la, 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 la. Yeah, honestly, sounds kind of robotic, but I don't care. Nobody looks at the description anyways. Uh, perfect. We got $29.99. We got four of these. So we're going to list up four. We are doing, since nobody has it, I'm doing plus shipping. I like to do like $3.99. I, I just feel like that's pretty fair for a hat. Um, if there is a set market on a hat, like I find that exact one, then I usually am not doing shipping. But if I'm the only one that has it, I'm going to uh, do the shipping because there's nobody else to compete with. All right. Of course, I don't normally have a light in here. So the natural light's really good, but this light that I have so you guys can see me is kind of casting a shadow on my perfect natural light setup. So there we go. I just readjusted it. Looks pretty good now. Still a little bit of a shadow, but the colors are accurate. That's all I care about. It's showing an accurate depiction of the hat. There we go. Once those load in, we are perfectly fine. We can mess around with a little AI background, but I think it personally looks fine. It's all about the color contrast as we talked about. So just kind of once overing everything and list. I didn't even set a, I didn't even set a stopwatch. What was that? I don't know what time, but we're going to set a stopwatch right now. I'm going to say that was about four or five minutes. We're going to set a stopwatch, though, just because I'm curious. We'll add, like, five minutes at the end. Next, we've got this Eagles hat here. So this one I should be able to find. If I look on the bottom, it'll say, uh, like, NFL 22. So I know that's the 20, 2022 sideline hat. So Eagles 950 2022. We're just going to go with that uh, just to try to pull some more searches. Not everybody's going to type in sideline or anything like that. I just pulled that off. Yeah, so none of them are coming up. So we're just going to do, we're going to pull that uh, 950 off because I know a lot of people have the 3930s and all of that. I guess I should specify hat. <laughs> and we're going to sort by new. And we see this guy is selling them um, for about 30 bucks for the um, curved bill version. Because I'm not seeing the flat bill of these, we're going to sell one like this on his and just doctor it up. Uh, that's also a good thing. Nobody has it. Um, this is a lower end hat, though, so I'm not really going to gouge on it um, like that last one with the shipping. I'm just going to do $29.99 free ship 
see what happens. I think I actually have a couple of these in different sizes. I just ended up grabbing one of them. But again, uh, this is going to take a little longer because we didn't find the exact one. So we're going to have to doctor the hat up a little bit. Not too much. I don't like when people put these little things in there. Not bad, not bad, cream green. Good enough. As long as it can be searched, that's all I care about. It doesn't have a size, or it does have a size. That's what I need to put in the title. I thought it was a snapback for a second. Seven and one fourth. Let's go edit that title real quick. Actually, let's take cap out because that's already going to be in the item specific, so it's already going to get searched there. Seven one fourth, perfect. Not necessary to put that in the title, but I would. It can get very, uh, very confusing on the buyer. Um, if you don't, that's fine. We'll just leave the leave that as that and see what the AI cooks up. As long as it's nothing too crazy, I will leave it. Looks perfectly fine. And that's the suggested price it's giving me as well as $29.99, but I wouldn't go off of that. As you see when I'm looking these up, I'm looking at the actives, looking at the solds, trying to see what the current market is, see what the past market is, and that's how I'm coming up with my price. That price has been actually pretty spot on on the first two listings, but it can be very far off and it just pulls like random listings. Sorry for the black screen there on that, but we just had to get that set up a little better. Perfect, seven and a fourth, seven and a fourth, and list. What are we looking at right now? Okay, that was about three minutes. So I assume the first one was about three or four minutes. Uh, next one, we've got a New York Giants hat. This one's pretty cool. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find anything on this one. Um, 950, just, official just Don, whatever that is. Giants just dawn. So if I can't find, okay, I will. Oh, people have bricked this one pretty bad. That's all right. We're going to list it near the higher end. I assume there's going to be some. There's not. Okay. 2247, but those are probably going to sell out. Who is this hooligan? Just plain deals. I assume come season, it looks like their market is a lot higher. Um, 35 is the next tier. So we're going to list it at 35 because those 2247s, that's a steal on a 5950. Those will sell out. So I think come football season, this should be an easy, easy flip to $35. I meant to put the custom SKUs in on these two, but uh, my mind's going like a mile a second trying to trying to uh, explain everything to you guys. So I'm going to go back and just add the SKUs on my computer all at once. I don't like when people put the MSRP in here. I just think that looks kind of weird. Again, I like to put the 5950 there. New York Giants. Blue. Fitted. Perfect. And we've got, this is a 7 and 1 eighth. Really cool hat, actually. Like, I can't believe people have I mean, it's just one person who's tanked it down. That, that's all it takes. It's all it takes to ruin something. But once he sells out, it's gonna be, it's gonna be an easy, easy money. It's not the right UPC, and I don't feel like scanning it, so I don't. Let's see what the AI cooks up. Looks good enough, safe enough. <laughs> all right. Get some picks. Really cool old logo on that guy. Since it's got something on the side, let's take a pick of the side there. Okay, yeah, you guys can, I was seeing if you could even see my hands. I guess you can see what I'm doing exactly on here, so it doesn't really matter. 
uh, 718. So usually once I do the pictures, I haven't said this, but I'm kind of just going back through and just double checking all the information I entered in. And again, see that one, that's pretty accurate. That is about what they are going for. So maybe they have improved it, but I always just kind of do my own thing to try to come up with the prices and it, it's worked so far. So we're going to keep running with that. All right. And you notice I'm not really editing the weight and everything. These are set on eight ounces. I have a, um, what's that called? What's that called? Uh, shipping policy set up for that. So even if I don't apply it to other ones, like doesn't matter if I'm doing free shipping. All right, done. Now, this is a different thing. Um, so if I had like six of each of these sizes, these are three different sizes, I would do a variation listing. But since I only have one of each, I like doing individual listings for those. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'll show you how that works. But that's going to count as three of the listings and it will be faster after the first one. Uh, I got to figure out. Okay, so these are NBA 2021 City Edition. You can see that on the tag. Pelicans. Uh, we're just going to do City 2021 and see what... Uh, hat and see what comes up. Booyah. Last one. What size is he? A seven and an eighth. All right, I'm not even competing with him. That's another thing you can look at is the different sizes. All right. 32 seems like about the market. 29.99. Pelican stuff doesn't sell super well or super fast, so. I probably am going to go $29.99. If I move one of these right away, I'm definitely going to um, raise the price of the other ones. I had a 7 and 5 eighths. Let's start with that one since that's what it already is. Um, fitted hat. All right, not bad. Pretty good, uh, pretty good title. New 7 5 eighths. We already got all that. I'd just rather leave that blank. All right. Now in the AI description, when I'm listing multiples, I'll pull the size out. That way I don't have to edit it. Again, sounds super robotic-y, but nobody looks at these, so I don't really care. <laughs> I used to just like copy paste my title in there back in the day. Um, it really has no effect on it at all. You know what, let's actually, since nobody really has those, let's just, let's go bold and let's do like plus $3 shipping or something on those. There's really not a ton of competition. They don't sell super well, this team, but if you want this hat, there's not, there's not much else uh, you can do to get it in this size. I did not see many in these three sizes that I have. It's kind of taking a dark picture on that tag, so I want to make sure I get that. All right. Five eights, five eights. And we're good. Now it's just going to be plug and play. We just got to edit the title. We got to edit the item specifics and we will be good to go. So we're gonna come here to our active. This is my small account, by the way. My other account is sitting at 1,300 listings. This one's approaching 1,300. Um, the other one's at about 29 or 30,000 for the last 90 days, which is pretty awesome. We're sitting around 55, which for the summertime is fantastic. I'm going to be doing a road to 100K or 100k in 90 days. I don't know what the name of it's going to be. If you guys have a better name or if you like either of those, let me know down below. Um, but I'm going to be trying to hit 100k just between my two eBay stores, not counting Mercari or Amazon. Uh, last year I hit 100k um, 
between all platforms, counting Amazon and Mercari, but I was at like 98K, I think, on eBay, so I was just shy. So now I'm going to try to uh, actually hit it this year, and I'm going to make it a whole series. Thinking of releasing videos every like two weeks for it um, is my hopes um, starting in September. So we will see if I'm able to stick to that. It's obviously going to be a busy time, but we will see. I want to make sure. Did I update the uh, title and everything? Oh, I'll just... Uh, I'll just sell similar and I'll be able to see if I did everything seven and a half on that last one. I did. Cool. I'm like subconsciously doing stuff because I'm talking. Normally I'm just like locked in listing. So I very easily could make a mistake. Um, I'm going to look over these listings after this. Um, I'm sure you guys are going to call me out if I, uh, if I mess anything up, which is perfectly fine because I very easily could. I'm not a great multitasker, so when I do this and I do my live packagings, I got to make sure to be extra careful because I am not the best at doing more than one, one thing at once. All right, cool. Just making sure the screen recording was still going also. Uh, that is seven and a fourth. Did I subconsciously already change those? I did. Cool. So you can see how fast it is once you already have one. Again, if I had multiples of those, I would definitely be doing um, variation listing. All right, let's see. What are we chilling at? 13 minutes, and we've listed one, two, three, four, five, six different ones. Add five to that, so about 18 minutes. So about three minutes per hat, and I'm talking pretty good. That's why I like hats. All right, next one, we've got four of these. Brooklyn. Nets, Mitchell, and Ness. Snapbacks, I highly doubt we're not able to find this. That is, This is a very common looking hat. I'm guessing it's around $20 or $25. Mitchell, Ness, Snapback, Black. We can be specific on this one because I know I'm going to find it. There it is. That's not a Snapback. Okay, they're a little higher than I thought, I think. The actives are, that doesn't always mean anything. Um, I still need to see some solds. Okay. Seems like $29.99 is the spot to be on this exact hat. Some of them are even higher, but with the current active market, let's check that one more time. I think I saw some, I get 25 yeah, about 30 bucks, I think. Maybe 35. Ah, there's a 30. There, that guy has a lot of stock. We're going to run 30 bucks. Again, I got four of these. I don't have a ton in them. Um, I'm obviously not trying to tank stuff, but uh, sometimes I like to, when I have a lot of something, um, I like to have the price on the lower end um, just to try to prime the pump, like I say. Um, and once I sell one, then I'll raise it back up. Brooklyn Nets. What else can we say? Snapback, hat, cap. Um, can I fit the word adjustable in here? Nope. All right, we're just going to go new. <laughs> Brooklyn Nets is a pretty short name compared to other ones, so that's why it is very easy. They didn't put, I like putting regular season and officially licensed in here just to be sure and yeah, see this pulls data from different ones that that's pretty accurate actually they've gotten better I think $29.99 is about the market on these um, if if I sell one one or two like really quick though I'm definitely raising the price I'm in no rush to sell stuff but Nets is kind of the same as Pelicans it is not going to sell very well especially after like they lost Durant, Harden, Kyrie. You could sell net stuff really well then, but not now. Again, I got to turn on immediate payment for all these. Um, I actually have a business policy, but I'm too lazy to uh, apply that, to automatically apply that. I kind of just do it subconsciously anyways. <laughs> As you've noticed, it's one of the first things I do. Perfect. 
$32 hat anyway, so 30 bucks is about right. All right, good to go. That's seven listings. Next, we've got these Cleveland Indians low profiles. These sell really well. Actually, did I sell a, one of these the other day? If I did, this is going to make the listing even faster. I did. All right, we're just going to seven, seven, eights, and I have another one of those as well. Seven and three fourths. Okay, so these are seven and five eighths for one, two, three, four, five. All right, we're just going to sell similar on one of those. Remove it just because a lot of people I've seen they list it is the same hat, but people are picky. And if they see that it has a different size on there, they're going to be like, Why does the picture say seven and five eighths? But it says so. I just rather avoid the questions and just take one for each. Now, if I'm doing a variation listing, I just take a pick of one hat and uh, I tell them, Hey, it's got uh, I took pictures of the seven and a half, but you'll get whatever size you order. Make sure we get the uh, tags lit up since it's kind of not wanting to. Oh, and a lot of people want to ask me, like, why don't you take the Marshalls tags off? Well, just so I can show you guys what I sold stuff for and what sold videos. But they also ask, how do you take pictures without it? Pretty easy. You just flop it out of the way. All right. I counted these, but I don't remember. Five. Let's put our stack we've listed over here now. Okay. Those are not the best picks. Uh, I don't like taking the red. Red is like the only color I don't like here. It just doesn't, doesn't look good. So that's why I take it on the darker couch or I take it on the back porch on some gray backgrounds. Or I've got a white background as well. But I'll probably just retake the picks. This is more just showing how to list and how quickly to list. So $27.99 is what I sold that other one for. There was really no other low pro profile ones out there. So I'm not even gonna recheck the market on those. Um, I do need to change the sizes though. So I guess I'm doing stuff out of order now. Seven and five eighths. We're just gonna take out where it says the size. That way I can just, just make sure it doesn't say anything stupid. You never know what the AI is gonna type up. Perfect, we're gonna list that and then we're gonna get these ready to go. One, two, three, four, seven and three fourths. Sell similar. Move seven, three, four. So let's just do that now before we even have to think. Three, fourths. Let's edit that to four. And that will take some picks. Yeah, I don't I don't know why, but red just does not do well here. The tags don't show up on it. It's just a it's a color contrast thing. So I always got to do this if I do it here, which I don't normally do, but it is what it is. I'm not going to take the camera around the house for a couple different colors. Uh, usually I'll, uh, any, all the red ones at once I'll list. So I'm doing that at once, but I didn't have enough hats in today. So I just kind of took what I had, took what I had and decided Oh, this could be an interesting video. Why not? Oh, we are two. Is that really? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We are to number 10. That was fast. Now, three of them were the same thing, so that's going to be faster. But th this is realistic, and this is what I, this is what I do. We have, we're at 21 minutes, so not bad. Plus five, so we're probably going to finish around 30 minutes-ish since I forgot the one. 
Um, that's right. Next, we've got these pretty cool Corpus Christi hooks, minor league baseball. It's from a special night. Christy. I forget what that's called. We're just going to search that first. Uh, and New Era. There it is. Dia de... I'm going to just type Muertos. I forgot. They all had like a Day of the Dead day, which is pretty cool. Uh, there's probably not going to be a ton of solds on these. Um, minor League Baseball, just they take a while to sell through, but these were 5 bucks, so... Um, I definitely wanted to take a chance on them. It looks like about the lowest price and what they're most at is like 35. Yeah, I'm actually gonna sell one like this on an active, which I don't normally do if it's good. It's not good. Okay, we're gonna, these titles are, like no wonder people can't sell stuff. Some of these titles are horrible. I might need to make a, uh, and these aren't, these aren't much better. Um, I need to make a video just like roasting people's titles, but like in a nice way, just so I can fix them up for them. This one's not horrible. It's better than the other ones. I don't know. It's just like it's a marketing thing, like putting things out of order and stuff. Like you want to make it easy on the buyer to read. New ear. <laughs> I like putting that first. Maybe it's just a pet peeve of mine, but... I do have a degree in marketing, so I'm always trying to find a way to um, get to the buyer. Why is that L chilling there? Did I do that? Like, it's not even that they weren't, like, including anything. Like, they had everything. It just, I don't know. Caps lock is still on. Just about making it easier on the buyer. That's really, that's really what I'm doing. I don't like that hat. Is there? I like putting hat cap at the end. If I don't have enough room for hat cap, it's perfectly fine because we can see it's right down here. So it's going to get searched anyways. But if I don't have anything else to say, then I'll throw it there as well. New Era. Yeah, what the heck? We'll scan the UPC on this one. Which the uh, MSRP is actually 30 So on these, I'm actually just going to go $29.99 since there's none even sold. You can't say someone's tanking if there's none sold in something. Because everybody might just have their prices too high. Like, look at this. This is pulling from a ton. So these are all snapbacks and everything. And I have 10 of those, I think. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, oh, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Good thing I counted. How did I think 15 to the eye? Now, if they, they start to sell really fast, then we're going we're gonna to raise the price on that sucker. But again, MILB hats, minor league baseball hats are usually going to take a while to sell. Let's see what this guy looks like from an angle. Yes, okay, so orange is also another color on top of red. That just, it ain't, it doesn't, it doesn't do it. I'm definitely, I'm just going to take all these real quick because I'm going to definitely just retake these anyways. Going to go to a different part uh, to my other listing place. That's fine on the back, but man, it does not. In case I, I don't, we'll just do that. <laughs> In case I'm lazy today and don't. But well, I guess I got to finish this listing up. Let's put that one first. Why not? looks horrible, but... I'm very particular with this type of stuff. Anyways, though, that is a lot of hats. That's 10 different listings up of hats. Let's end the screen recording. 10 different listings up of hats. I hope this was helpful. Maybe it wasn't because, again, I don't do anything like anybody else. I try to just make things as simple as possible. A lot of other people seem to want to put together a thousand dollar studio, which that may be fine, but I personally don't like sitting in the same place as the house. So some days I'll come here and list. Some days I got a spot on the couch I can list. Some days I'll go out on the back porch and list. Like it's just nice to have different areas. And um, again, I'm mainly selling hats, shoes, 
um, Crocs. So it's very easy to list those in other places. If you have anything that you see me sell in my What's Whole videos that you'd like me to do a listing tutorial on, let me know. Um, I'm probably not going to do clothing because honestly I'm trying to get out of clothing and I really just uh, don't like it. Oh, whoops, I forgot to uh, check the stopwatch. 26 minutes plus the five. We'll say it was about 30 minutes to list 10. That's that's about accurate. But yeah, anyways, I'm not, I'm not a big fan of clothing. It just takes a long time to list and I'm trying to... Uh, Get through get to more hats and shoes because i can run through them kind of like i did in this video if you do want to sell clothing though check out caleb sells he's got some really good videos as i mentioned earlier um, and he'll be able to help you figure out what to look for and how to list it fast he has a great setup for clothing that's about it though if you guys are interested in more of these videos let me know it was pretty easy to do i'm already listing this stuff every day anyway so i did a shipping one like this i thought i might do a listing one Hopefully you're able to gain some value from it. If you're interested in joining my reselling Discord group, you can check that out first link in the description. Also, if you're interested in some of my merch, we got the MPTV Cribs, and we also got a few more designs up on the website and some mystery boxes and some Millennial Profit bags. So if you're interested in that, check that out on my website, mpmerch.com. Thank you guys so much for the support and for over 40,000 subscribers. There's money to be made everywhere, guys. Let's go get it. Thank you for watching The Millennial Profit.